I'm going to get hypnotized so that I don't have a phobia about driving anymore. And you want me to drive to him? Sunset you guys are ass f***ing backwards. Why are you shaking your head back there, producer man? Can we so hypnotize easy. Trace so she doesn't talk as much? I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Two years ago, my dad died. I became the single mom of two, went broke, and basically my whole life fell apart. So now I need to start over. I've decided to say yes to all the things I used to say no to, even this freaking reality show. This is real life. This is not TV. This is real life. I'm going to learn how to deal with my driving phobia. So today, I am going to conquer my fear of driving. No, I'm not. Who the f am I kidding? Let's go do this. Let's go get yourself hypnotized. I have a fear of driving. It's a phobia. I don't know why the f I'm afraid of driving. I'm a total control freak. But yet, this has become bigger than life for me at this point. So now all my friends are trying to get me to go to a hypnotherapist. So I agreed. Anti-aging medicine and hormone restoration. Oh, are you guys surprising me? Are you sure? I went there with Dre to make sure that this guy um, was legit. We're at a, at a hormone place. There's tons of pictures of babies being born, and I'm just like, okay, this is a setup. Are you surprising me with a different kind of episode? Am I having another baby? Sometimes I think I might just be getting punked. Hi, Dre. How are you? Hi. How you doing? Good, Damien Bertrand. Nice to meet you. Good, nice to meet you. I'm a hypnotherapist. Are you really? This guy wants me to get pregnant again, and I will. I mean, right there, I would have gotten pregnant again. <laughs> I mean, if he would have pulled his d out, I'd get pregnant again. i get pregnant if I look at it. I don't understand anything about hypnosis. Okay, well, yeah, well, let's go in my office and we can talk. Okay, okay. How long have you been a hypnotherapist? 14 years. 14 years. I started my career as a comedic hypnotist. I would hypnotize people in front of an audience and make people do really funny things for a couple hours. No way. Yeah. So you're gonna hypnotize me to drive funny? Uh, no, <laughs> but I, I will only drive naked. <laughs> That's it. I will only drive wearing funny hats. Okay. That could I be will good. only drive wearing assless jeans. That's the only way I will drive. <laughs> Is this bullshit? But you really can't. It's serious, though. Right. It's so hypnotherapy comedic. basically works. You know, your mind works on two levels. So you've got your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. So what I do is I relax the conscious mind so I can get into the subconscious and, you know, reprogram it. Of course, as I tend to do, I start running my mouth off. And I'm going to tell you a couple of okay. things that have happened Good. to me in cars. A girlfriend and I, we were 14. We were picked up by a taxi driver. And he locked us in the car and drove 100 miles an hour and would not stop. All my boyfriends and friends, they, you know, they stole cars every night. <laughs> so, and I was in a couple of stolen cars and chased by people that were, like, that's my car. One of them was, like, a big mafioso guy. So I've been in a lot of, I guess, high-speed car chases. <laughs> All these things might have jammed your subconscious to, like, scare you for driving. So on first impression, does it seem like you can hypnotize her? Yeah. You, you can't even... penetrate this. I say we do this. I say we get her in there. So come on here and then... Um... Do I need lipstick for this? There's nothing cute about hypnotherapy. It's a serious business. I refuse to close my eyes. Can I do it with my eyes open? No, you can't do it with your eyes open. It's okay, I'm just gonna close my eyes and shut the f up, have a little more caffeine. <laughs> Carter's gonna film himself. <laughs> All right, I'll shut the f up. Awesome, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a TV show where I get to just I have monologues and monologues, so I just never stop talking. Is that what this show is? I'm sure Damien thought that we were a bunch of fruitcakes, and I'm sure he thought that I was a motor mouth and that he'd never get me to shut up. And he was probably right. All right. Oh. Good, 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 good. I wish my kids were here. Tell me when you're ready and we'll start. Ow. When you're ready, just focus and forget about today. Don't think about tomorrow. I get the giggles. What I want you to do is just take a big deep breath in when you're ready to. Good. I'm sure that if I allowed myself to be hypnotized, it would probably work. My mind plays tricks, so the minute it's trying to go somewhere to relax, there's that voice, or then, then there's this voice. It's like I'm a fucking total schizophrenic. I have a hundred voices going on in my head all at once. And who the hell's gonna be able to control and wrangle all of these people inside this head? Nobody. And as I count down from three to one, just want you to double the state of relaxation that you're in. Three, two, and one. I'm falling asleep. Feeling totally wonderfully relaxed now. 
I want you to imagine now a very, very beautiful garden with flowers and plants, water, rocks, all kinds of beautiful things. Just find a place to rest in this garden now. Just let go now. Deep, 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 deep. I took a nap, really, while he hypnotized me. I was like, I mean, maybe I should just take a nap since I'm so exhausted anyways from never shutting up. Picture yourself now in the most soothing, comfortable cedar chair. Imagine now that you're in this chair, that you're behind the wheel of a car. This is a very comfortable feeling for you. You realize now that you no longer have a problem with driving at all. You'll actually enjoy it more and more and more. All of the suggestions I gave you now stay with you and they're now part of you. Three, coming back to yourself, two, and one. Open your eyes wide awake, back to yourself there. Feeling wonderful. So now, how many times do I have to do that before I'll drive? I think you should try driving tonight or tomorrow, whatever day is better for you guys. You should drive home. Yeah. No, there's too many people out in the streets. <laughs> First of all, the relax was, was, I felt like a win right there because <laughs> I wasn't sure with, you know, with everything going on that we could get there and we did. So Who's that's here? Awesome. So, what'd you think? I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm gonna do it again. Is that his car? I noticed this insane car, which was, I, I believe, a, a Shelby Cobra. This is insane. Wow. He must know what he's doing, hey? What are we doing for a living? I wanted to date the guy. We are gonna f hypnotize mother from now on. That's it, we can do that shit, right? Oh, 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 hi, hi. Is this your car? Yes, yeah, my car. I wanna drive now. You did a really good job. I'd like to drive this now. He let me sit in it. And Bad he ass. let me start it. And then I chickened out. It's gonna take more than one session. Anybody who knows anything about anything is gonna know that. I'm not gonna just suddenly drive. People would think I were irresponsible watching at home. Don't operate heavy machinery without being completely confident. I will be hypnotized again, and I actually really wanna go back to Damien specifically, because he does past life stuff, and I believe that I had a really bad car crash in a past life, because why the f would this person not be driving? It makes no sense to me. To watch another episode of The Mothership, click here. To get hypnotized by Damien Bertrand, click here. And don't forget to subscribe to The Mother Mothership up here. <laughs>